So today I'm talking about a P0123 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0123 code? Well, it's a throttle pedal position sensor switch A circuit high. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a throttle body that's controlling all the air going into the engine. And it controls how much air is going into the engine with what's called a butterfly plate or a throttle body plate, however you want to call it. When the gas pedal is pressed, this opens up and lets more air in which goes into the cylinders and keeps the whole engine running. When throttle bodies were first introduced and came along, they had a cable that ran down to the gas pedal. And when the gas pedal was pressed, this cable would pull open this butterfly plate and control how much air was going into the engine. But on many newer vehicles, they got rid of that cable going from the gas pedal up to the throttle body. And for vehicles like this, they're going to have a sensor down on the gas pedal. And when the pedal's pushed, it's going to report this information to the computer and the computer is going to control the throttle body, how much it opens with the small motor. There can't be variations on this. Sometimes there is a cable still running up to the throttle body. And there's what's called a throttle position sensor that's reporting back to the computer how open that plate is. So you will need to get a diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on with it. Because depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this, there can be some differences. But when you get a P0123 code, the computer's seeing that there's some kind of problem inside of this circuitry and that for some reason the voltage is high. And so it's got to, to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0123 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is if the throttle body is really super dirty. If that throttle body is really dirty and has a lot of buildup, it can't throw those sensors off. It can't cause strange things to happen and cause issues. And so it is a good idea to go and look at the throttle body and check to see if it looks really super dirty. If it does look really dirty, you can get what's called throttle body air intake cleaner. You can spray down in there and clean it up real good. Maybe even use a little toothbrush or something like that. And basically you just clean it up as best you can because the first thing that could cause this is a dirty throttle body. The next thing that could cause this is a bad throttle position sensor or a bad accelerator pedal position sensor. There may or may not be an accelerator pedal position sensor on your particular vehicle. It's really going to vary. If you have a cable going up to the throttle body, then very likely you don't have one. But there will be a throttle position sensor. And the throttle position sensor is just reporting back to the computer how open this butterfly plate is. And it might be having some kind of problem. There might be some kind of issue going on with it. If you do have an accelerator position sensor, it's going to be the same thing. There might be some kind of problem with it. It might have gone bad. So you can go through and test these sensors. There's some different ways to go about testing them. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad throttle position sensor or a bad accelerator pedal position sensor. And the next thing that's going to cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. There's like an open, there's a short, there's a bad connection, something like that. You could go through and check out all those wires going up to the throttle body and be sure they all look like they're plugged in good, that there's no issues with it or anything like this. You can also use a multimeter to check the wiring and be sure that you're getting the right voltages and things like this. If you do go to use a multimeter to check the wiring, you will need to get a wiring diagram or schematics for your particular vehicle because there will be differences. Again, it's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. It is very common that they have a 5-volt reference voltage. So if you can find the 5-volt reference voltage and put the key in the on position, but you don't start the engine, and just check to see and be sure that you are getting 5 volts to that circuit and that it's not high or something like that. Also keep in mind that this circuit needs a good ground. If there's any kind of issue with the ground, it could just throw everything off and cause problems. So you can go through and test that and different things like this. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0123 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.